Hazel. Dalsin. Come in, M.M. I wanted to have a word with you. What can I do for you? I'm glad you're here. It's been a long time since we last saw each other. Tell me, where were you tonight? Like everybody else, I suppose. At home, getting ready for the party. How fortunate you weren't running early. Why? What's happened? You know what the code red means. There was a breach. This is intolerable. These agreements were supposed to celebrate the power of my court. Instead, I've been made to look a fool in the eyes of my allies. We'll have to increase our diplomatic efforts with the Warlocks. Send new emissaries to Osborne. What's that got to do with me? Don't you worry about that for now. We have more urgent matters to attend to. We bring Journey to me. What do you want with her? I have a few questions I need to ask her. If mistakes were made, I need to know what happened. I'm sure that your friend will have a lot to tell me. She hasn't done anything. Hazel. I'll be the judge of that. Yes, my prince. I'll be right back. I didn't bring you here just for that. I have something to offer you. I'm listening. It's about the Primogen Council. You know everyone who's in it. Beryl, Richard... Hilda, their support was much appreciated after the disappearance of the previous prince. Quentin King. But now, they've become an obstacle. It's been going on for months. They systematically oppose everything that I do. It must stop now. The Camarilla has faced many challenges in the past few years. Many of our strongholds have fallen. I won't let Boston suffer the same fate. But for that, I need loyal allies. Also, how would you like a spot in the Primogen? I... uh... what? You've always taken care of your community, M.M. Without ever asking for anything in return. It might be time you took a leading role in the community's affairs. Hilda won't let you do it. She'll never see me as her equal. Being seated next to her child? She'll feel humiliated. I'm her prince. She will obey me. She's not gonna like it. I don't care. What I'm offering is much bigger than all that. What do you think? I don't know. I need to think about it. Time is of the essence. You're a businesswoman, M.M. I know you'll be up to it, but we'll talk about it again soon. In the meantime... I know. Jay, I'm going to go see Sylvia first. I need to clear my head. Do it. You won't be able to hunt tonight. It's better to be prepared. Bring me Journey. I will. I have the utmost confidence in you, M.M. Do not fail me. You can count on me. What the hell is going on? M.M., I'm happy to see you in one piece. Hey, Syl. I'd like some refreshment, please. 
Of course. I'll get you a glass. I was thinking more like a vessel. Oh. Serve yourself. But try not to damage them, okay? They're all I've got left in stock. I get it. I'll be careful. I'm right here if you need anything else. Now's not the time to be thinking about that. We're not the only ones freaking out. Look around. Exactly. We've got to keep our wits about us. Got it? Yeah. take long going
told you to be careful. Sorry, I got carried away. It's all right, as long as it stays between us. But watch out. This kind of slip-up could cost us big out there. I know, I know. Absolutely divine. All right, Jay. Where are you hiding? Then there are the palaces, the mosaics, I the know that voice. And the vibrant youth population. They must have been busy with the police and all. They make a lot of noise, but life always finds a way. At night, mostly. At clandestine parties, safe from their batons. Those young people just want to have fun. Victoria! M.M. My little Rose. It's been so long. An eternity, you mean. And yet, look at you. As splendid as always. I've learned from the best. Adorable. How are you? Uh, this is a rather depressing night for a reunion. What about you? You chose a bad time to visit us. Oh, don't remind me. To think I was so happy to return to Boston after so many years. Ugh, the trip was to be amazing. Hey, the night's still young. It might be nothing at all. You're right. Everyone is so tense, it's starting to rub off on me. I hear business is going well for you. Your Black Rattlers are making quite the splash. You can be proud of everything you've accomplished, darling. Your name is on everyone's lips. Thanks. That means a lot coming from you. I'm really happy to see you again. I wish I had more time to talk. Is there something stopping you? You could say that. One of my acquaintances is in hot water with Miss Iverson. I need to help her. I'm going to give you a piece of advice then. Don't waste your energy helping others. Let others handle their own problems. Their mistakes aren't your business. Journey is someone I can trust. I can't let her down now. Is Journey a prince? No. Then her opinion doesn't matter. The only individuals who should matter to you are royalty. The rest, they're just for decoration. Thanks for the advice, Victoria. You've helped put things into perspective. It's only natural. I'll always be here for you, darling. And I hope the feeling is mutual. You know it is. Wonderful. I'm relieved to see that despite the travails of time and distance, our friendship is still intact. What are you doing in town anyways? The last time I heard about Victoria Ash, she'd just gotten back to Atlanta. You know I never stay in one place for long. But to answer your question, I came to do business. For the agreement, I'm guessing. You guessed right. I'd hoped to meet up with one of my associates tonight. A warlock I'd sent to Hartford. Unfortunately, he still hasn't made his appearance. He might still come. The night's not over yet. Oh, you're refreshingly naive. We'll see. What did you hope your emissary would do? Double-cross Iverson? Oh, please, M.M. I'm just curious, that's all. Diplomats are rarely sent out without good reason. If you sent someone, then there was something in it for you. Fine, guilty as charged. I'm very interested in your prince's project. I'd like to transpose it to Atlanta. 
I contacted the Warlocks to try and learn more. I was actually surprised that Deneb agreed to cooperate with Kindred outside his Chantry. Deneb? Hartford's regent. I understood that he was the one Hazel was in negotiations with. Are they really that wary of outsiders? Warlocks are naturally suspicious of other families, but Osborne? He is unique. Paranoid, eccentric, and highly intelligent. The type of man you can't manipulate. You seem to know him pretty well. Well enough to know not to trust him. You knew Boston when it was a Malkavian city. What do you think about the court now? Iverson has successfully made her mark. It can't have been easy, with Quinton's grip on the city. Boston was on the brink of chaos when Hazel took over. I don't always agree with her methods, but she gets the job done. She knows what she wants. I respect that. Our family needs more leaders like her. That would be a welcome change from our usual weather vanes. I'm sorry, but I've got to go. I understand. Duty calls, but before you leave, I have a favor to ask you. I mentioned my emissary earlier. If you hear anything about him, please let me know when you get back, would you? I thought I was only supposed to focus on my prince. Have you had a change of heart? Huh, you're using my own words against me? It's a big favor. I'm aware of that, but I'm a loyal friend and powerful too. If you can do this for me, I'll owe you one. Fine. I'll let you know if I learn anything. Oh, thanks, M.M. I hope I'll see you again soon, darling. If you need anything, I'll be right here. Thanks, Victoria. See you later. Disaster. Miss Lewis. Yes? Miss Lewis. Can I help you? Mm. What a shitty night. Do you think the code red will last much longer? I hope not. The faster I get out of here, the better. What? And Mem Lewis, the Black Rattler's Rose, is afraid of a handful of politicians? God, no. <laughs> Fine. Let me know if I can do anything for you. I heard the Prince put together a surveillance unit. Yeah, the cave. Mr. Leto and his team spend their nights there. It's just below us. But don't even think about going down there. It's only for sewer rats. Miss Iverson has the top floor all to herself. Yes, that's where she's got her office for hearings, as well as her personal quarters. Miss Bosley is the only one who has access to them. I'm supposed to find Jay. Do you know if she's done talking to April? Huh, good question. Uh, I saw her earlier, but she wasn't with Miss Bosley. She went into that alcove on your right, but that was a while ago. Thanks. You... you might want to avoid hanging around with her, you know? I've heard stuff about her. I know, and it's not true. She didn't do anything, all right? Fine. Sorry. Did you need anything else? Thanks for the vessel. My pleasure. Come back any time you want. So, I know that perfume. Jay. Yes, ma'am. It's 
That's Jay's scarf. I would have made it my job to congratulate him. Young people you fierce and charming as you You want to You... you want to... Where did you go, Jay? Underwood and Fang. Nazora's ears must be burning. and Lazarus. Mm, I smell gossip. Took the elevator to get here. Oh, you again. What do you want? Everything's gonna be fine. Calm down. I swear, she was standing there, playing me for a sucker, pretending she just happened to be in the archives. And what did you say to her? I played dumb. I said, as you like, Miss Abigail Nomi. And I left. What did she take? A page from a file about an old party that she tore out. Uh, but why would she need that? They can't hurt Why me? now? I wonder.
trail ends there. Where could she have gone after that? Hmm. M.M., we haven't seen you here in ages. Did you want something, perhaps? You haven't seen Journey, have you? She's not here. It would be a shame if you've showed up too late. If you know something, just tell me. I'm teasing you. I haven't the slightest idea what has you in such sorts. It was just a joke. Very funny. I don't have time for this. I'm out of here. Hey, Abby. Hey, M.M. It's been a while. Can I help you? I've got to talk to Jay. You haven't seen her, have you? No, you should ask April. It's a good idea. Thanks for the advice. I've got stuff to do. See you later. Yes, darling? Mm, I've gotta go. See you later, darling. as much as I used to. The dogs from the SI have made things so complicated. A disaster. Ugh. What? It's a disaster. Nothing, darling. It doesn't concern you. <laughs> 